Hi, so um, this is the third video in the series, which is day two. Um, recall that at the end of day one, we went to bed at 8 p.m., which was just ridiculously early. Day two started with us waking up 11 hours later, exhausted. And at the time, we wondered if this was an indication of some kind of coming illness. Spoiler alert, it was. Um, but we didn't realize it at the time. Uh, we just thought it was one of many tiring days. But anyway, enjoy the video. Wednesday, 18th March, 2020, day two. We slept until 7 a.m. After going to bed 11 hours before, we woke up achy and disoriented and exhausted. Was this an indication of approaching illness? We had no idea. What we did know was that we had to carry on. Timmy was better and asking for food. Timmy was fine, trooper that he is. Tommy was bursting with unspent energy. Now, I would never wish sickness upon my child. Never. I'm not that selfish. However, I would also never judge a mother who thought that maybe it wouldn't be such a bad thing if her child's very mild illness stuck around just a little bit longer. Just for the sake of some peace and quiet. That's all I'm saying. Everyone was well and I felt awful for not engaging them yesterday. So I started the day determined to fill it with activities and to limit screen time massively. My children's development was more important than anything else. Housework could wait. Of course, I would empty the bins. And then there was a bathroom that needed cleaning. Okay, I could do both while they enjoyed a big bath. After that, it would be just me and them. But surely I couldn't leave the dishes piled up next to the sink all day. During breakfast, I decided they could watch a teeny amount of TV while they ate, giving me the room to do the kitchen. When all those jobs were done, I was absolutely going to set up activities to do with the boys. Only after I tidied up the playroom, though, no one would expect me to get anything done with it in that state. But that was it. No more jobs. The rest of the blast site would have to remain in a state of pandemonium because the boys had to come first. Well, fifth. I was ready. I had a plan. And it fell apart within 15 minutes. While the boys were in the bath and I was wiping the floor, Lou came down. He's been working at the desk in our bedroom for eight hours each day to remind me that the moving company was going to video call in a few hours. They would need to be shown every corner of the house. That meant it needed to be tidy and quickly. <sighs> Frustrated, I changed the plan. Bath, breakfast, bins, more breakfast, TV. Snack after breakfast, bathroom cleaning. Referee a fight, TV. Carry cranky toddler, more snack. Vacuum clean, carry toddler again, TV. Tidy bedrooms, TV. Tidy bedrooms again, game of hide and seek, get boys to tidy playroom, pick up wee wee clothes, do dishes. I'm for video call and house not tidy yet. After the call, the moving guy was completely unfazed by the mess shouldn't have bothered it was time for lunch then i was finally ready to give the boys my undivided attention after i tidied up the boys tidy up attempt i enjoyed myself thoroughly and i think the boys did too and i'm glad i did it when i did because it meant the news of school closures that came minutes after we were done did not panic me quite as much as it might have. I know now that I can handle homeschooling. For two hours, at least. The school closure announcement does not immediately make a difference to our circumstances, 
but it did hit us with another wave of how serious it all is. The boys don't seem too bothered by it. Timmy, how many days until school opens again? Me, we don't know yet, darling. Timmy, it will be 55,000 days. Me, hopefully not. Timmy, but that's just one week. I did leave the house briefly today, uh, just to walk down the road to the post box, making sure to remain two meters away from everyone. It was supposed to Timmy's letter. It was nice to walk, but strange to be out. It left me with a sad longing for things to go back to what they were. I sit here now at midnight, with the news in the background still feeling much the same way. Everything and everyone is shutting down. How did things change so quickly? When will it go back to normal? Will there ever be a normal? <sighs> I go back to my online shopping. I'm trying to get stationery, craft supplies and plastic furniture before they're all sold out. And there's Timmy crying. So is Tommy. They're complaining of aches and pains. They'd gone to bed four hours ago, each with their own dose of Kalpo. Time for Nurofen. Day two. Right, so I don't think I ever properly explain in the blog, but the moving company thing was because we were in the middle of moving away from Crew to Stratford because of um, Lou's fantastic new job and covid messed all of that up but yeah at the time we were moving yeah so i hope you enjoyed that and uh, i'll see you tomorrow for day three